Welcome to another Stalker Gamma Anomaly video. You guys love when I add all those words together. But this is for Stalker Gamma, and I get a lot of questions about the minimap. It's the number one question asked in all my guides. Bellagio, how do you get the minimap up? I'm going to explain that in this video. Everything for you is found hidden in the mod organizer. When you start the game up in here, you will see a section. And as of right now in the patch that I'm on, it's more towards the bottom, but this is ever changing and evolving. But you look for minimap and you pick one and only one. By default, it's on compass. But for the people that want minimap, you would just unclick compass and then click minimap. Some other notable things you could see in this menu and you could play around with this at your own discretion and for your own playthroughs. One of them would be the magazine redux. Under optional, mags redux, you would enable this, but you would have to find the gamma unjam reload. That could be in animations, I'm assuming. But I'm completely wrong and thank God this menu has a search bar. Down below, you just type in unjam and you could see it's under Gamma Fixes, Gamma Unjam Reload on the same key. You would turn this off and then you could turn on Mags Redux. If you click on Mags Redux, what this does is it adds magazines to the game that you'll have to reload and you can actually run out of ammo in your magazines. It makes it more like Tarkov. Some people like that, some people don't. Also, if you're a streamer on YouTube, you could disable music in game but not in the main menu, and also not in some areas that have an in-game radio, believe it or not. 90% of the in-game radios get turned off with this, but the one mystery radio in Rostock, where duty is, up in the bell tower, for some reason that thing just plays like a loudspeaker. Other things in here would be if you don't like the trading system in Gamma, you can click Trader Overhaul, and this makes it where the traders are pretty much more like anomaly. And you can also go the opposite direction of the pendulum and click Trader to stockify. This makes it even more gamma-ish. Shrinks and randomizes trader stocks. Death animations and the little sub note here is if you like shooting extra ammo on dead people, click that. Iron Man roguelite for easier Iron Man lovers. You might want to try that out if you like Iron Man runs. One of my favorites to uh, activate in here is this one, new item highlight. What this does is any item you pick up off the ground, off a body, it will highlight in your inventory so you can see what you just picked up. That's a great one. Down below optional, there's good add-ons with issues and bugs. This is if you want to try some extra stuff in the game. They have a whole expansion for duty with, with more dialogue, more missions, but there's a lot of issues with it. Quick companion teleport, teleport rescue mission targets. I'm not quite sure you might want that with the mission is glitched. Companions inventory unlock enables only to clear your companion inventory. Not quite sure what that is. I wouldn't mess with these unless you're bored and you're testing out a brand new save. Another category that they don't want you to mess with too much, but I think it's very fun and it's very glitchy, is Warfare Mode. Warfare, A-Life Overhaul, and Fluid Relations. Uh, very crazy Warfare mods. Warfare basically is more working in Anomaly than Gamma, but it makes it where the entire world AI is simulated, the factions themselves wage war with each other, territory gets captured, you know, one playthrough, you know, duty might come through and take over the south, or the military might come through and take over the swamps. It's a very crazy, very fun. Definitely everyone should experience it, but in my opinion, keep that for anomaly only, or again, brand new saves if you just want to have fun in Gamma. And then the other thing you're going to want to play with is the Gamma Fixes. In here, you can find some random bug fixes and stuff if you're having issues. Mags, buy a bullet traders. You want to turn that on if you're using magazines for sure. And then the most famous fix in here, two of them is fix for saves made before the year 2022 of October. But really this one, turn this on if you stutter. 
I haven't had to use this in a while. If you do have stuttering issues beyond my performance guide, you'd want to turn this one on. Going back to the mini map. Now that you have the mini map turned on, maybe you want to move it around your screen. I get this question a lot. How do I move the mini map? Yours is in the top left corner, bottom left corner, wherever I have it. You want to know where to move it. In older versions of Stalker Gamma, the minimap used to be a square and you could move it around the screen. Now it is a compass and a minimap on the bottom right and you have to go into some files to add some custom settings. But if you double click on the minimap in the mod organizer, the minimap toggle, it brings up a whole guide basically on how you can customize your minimap with Note++. Plus Plus. You can make it bigger, smaller, more transparent. Again, the best advice I could give is to ask people in the Discord. They will be able to help you. Let me know in the comments down below if this helps. Tell me, do you like the minimap on or the compass? One or the other. And hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more great content. Thank you for watching.